Okay, sorry about that, folks. Uh, I just had to fix a little issue here, but I think that we have it down now. So I'm going to start over again. So, uh, yes, today is going to be a high of 41. It is currently 38, and they are talking rain and flurries. Good morning, Terry. Um, now, since it's going to be high of 41, I don't think the roads are going to be a problem. You just have to look out for douchebags. Tomorrow's supposed to be high of 67, and, of course, rain. Great weekend weather, but I'm sure we'll all get through it. Now, I'm going to touch again on Jesse Smollett, okay, because this shit pisses me off, little fucker. Um, I'm sorry. This hoax, nobody gives a shit that you're gay, okay, just because you don't like Trump, okay, your little hoax is a bunch of bullshit, and I think you should be in prison for it. Okay, but Chicago now wants to uh, sue him for $130,000 for the cost of the investigation, and I think that they should, and I think the little prick needs to pay. He's a little fucking asshole, and I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck who you are. You're an asshole. You did this straight up, flat out. That's just the way it is, so that's what I have to say about that. Now... On to the next thing. The new obsession is cockroacha milk. Cockroach milk. Never going to touch these lips, okay, for one. It is just, that, just the idea of it, okay? For one thing, I don't want any bug anything in my mouth, okay, let alone cockroacha milk, okay? Me being a previous... Uh, exterminator, yeah, no, no, I don't care. They're saying it's three times more nutrient than dairy milk and eight times more nutritious than almond milk, okay? I don't give a shit, okay? It could be lined with gold. I don't want it, okay? The downside is... It negatively affects the skin because apparently it has a lot of sugar in it and it also causing causes aging okay so let's get some nutrients from some nasty ass damn bug and have shitty skin and age in the process how about no okay I'm sorry these people out there even considering this shit, you're fucked up, okay? I don't know what you're smoking, okay? What is this? Because you're saying, you know, how the cow's farts are, you know, causing the greenhouse effect or whatever the fuck you're saying. Uh, what do you think this is going to be the new, uh, you know, saving grace from cow milk? Sorry, I'm going to stick with regular moo milk. Okay, I don't need no damn cockroach milk. That is not going to happen. Okay. Now, anyway, on a funny note, it, you know, there's been a lot of things coming up about, you know, growing up in the 60s and the 70s and the 80s. And I have a lot of fond memories. Um... But one that really sticks out and is really embarrassing, okay, is I was at a pig roast in Florida with my grandparents and my family. My sister, Tamara, and I were riding around the ring on our little ponies, and then we were told that we had to get off because we had to do something. So she got off. She's on the other side of the fence. I get off mine. You know, I pet him, you know, whatever. Well, I bend over to go under the fence, and I got bit in the ass. Well, I went flying under that fence. I'm jumping up and down. I'm rubbing my butt, blah, 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 blah. Long story short, I get brought into this room. They lay me down, okay? Now, this is not the worst of it, okay? The worst of it is the fact that I'm laying down, I have no pants on. My parents, 
my grandparents, my aunts, my uncles, and God only know who else was in there, okay? Everyone was looking at my ass, okay? I think I'm still traumatized from that as a child. I'm just putting that out there, okay? Because that's just not right, okay? That was not fair that that should happen, okay? But it did, and... uh yeah. So, so to make myself feel better, of course, I had to think about tormenting my sister um, because she hated skunk cabbage. I don't know why I used to love the smell of it. Anyway, I got the biggest, smelliest leaves, and I chased her around. I jumped on her, and I rubbed it all over her. <laughs> this is when we were at our Aunt Mary Alice's. <laughs> Uh, I don't remember. I think I just got yelled at. I don't know. I don't re really remember getting in trouble for it. But I know that she, of course, had to run way, right away. And Good. Good day, Dave. Whatever. Anyway. So, another thing. This is actually brilliant on this child's part. I just put it up this morning. Now, a six-year-old, six years old, does not want to go to school. So she draws chicken pox on her entire body. I'm sorry. Personally, that is brilliant. I never thought of that. I mean, really? How did she even think about that? She's six. And you're thinking about drawing chicken pox on your body so you don't have to go to school. That's amazing. That, to me, that, that kills me. That is one smart kid. Those parents have their hands full. This kid is on top of it, I'm telling you. It's hysterical. I'm t I am don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so now the last thing I wanted to talk about it was brought up and it has to do with people are talking about uh, telepathy and telekinetics. Now, I'm just wondering how many people think that they can or believe, you know, that, you know, something will happen so that you, you know, can do this. So I'm just throwing that out there because I'm kind of curious as to who would, who wouldn't, you know, what your thoughts are on this. I mean, of course, it's in a lot of different horror movies, you know, Carrie and or whatever that was where you know, Firestarter and all that shit. Um, you know, so I'm just curious. I mean, see, when I think of certain things that come out, I think something had to start somewhere. Something had to happen to either ignite this thought that they saw it or something had to happen that made them think, hmm, is this a possibility? So, you know, uh, you know if anybody uh, has any thoughts on this, you know, I want to hear about it. You know, because then they're, uh, you know, I was reading up on it and I didn't, you know, really take any notes, but they were giving a list of, you know, all these people through history who had these talents. So I'm not going to say it's true, but I'm not going to say it's false because I don't have any evidence either way. You know, personally, I can't, yeah, I'm not moving anything. So, uh, can't say is I really have that <laughs> and you are all going to eat ice cream today there I don't know <laughs> so um, yeah so I was just wondering your thoughts on that so now the last thing I'm going to talk about on my little morning rant is did you see what I put up about the athlete when he was running and his Willy Wonka came out, um, 
Now, you have to look when he goes to get up, because that looks like a whole lot of ball sack that kind of flopped down that he was trying to scoop up and stick back in his pants. Um, but, of course, you know, the people who were talking about it, they were like in hysterics. I mean, can you imagine? That thing has to be pretty damn big if you're running and all of a sudden you feel it slap it on your leg outside of your shorts. I don't even know what to say. I just wish I could have seen the entire thing. I'd probably be pissing my pants. But, yeah, that... That has to be really embarrassing. Just kind of like, you know, when boobs fall out. You know, you just kind of go with it, stuff it back in, whatever. That's never happened. I'm kind of, sort of, almost, but not really. Yeah, no. Um, but anyway, those are my thoughts for this morning. Uh, you know, anyone else has any ideas about it? Any thoughts about it? Any anything? You know, let me know. Because I'd like to hear what you think about these little subjects that I brought up. So, all right. Until this evening, uh, I hope everyone has a great day. Stay dry and uh, enjoy your day. And I'll chat with you this evening with Ed. <laughs> Have a good day.